Hello, good morning everyone. Today we are going to fuel up meat at the Nebraska Furniture Mart here in the colony. Now, normally I don't go to this meat and my car was dirty as well. I was thinking about just walking over here from our parking lot far, far away, but I decided against that because, you know, it's freaking early in the morning and I don't like to do that stuff. <laughs> I also parked the car way back there because it's dirty. Now, parking lot gold, we are at the show right now, so there's gonna be plenty of gold coming up right now. So let's see what we can see. Let me go, there's no doubt. It. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere. Wasting here, waiting for another year. We both know the score. We have been here once before. So many words unspoken. You took my heart, it's already broken. You don't have to wait. I can take the pain. I will surrender. Let me go on a new adventure.
for shots, dude.
All right, guys, we're back in the car. It is so nice shooting a show that you don't go all the time because this is definitely one of those shows. You know, everything is new and, and fresh when you shoot a show again. So I'm definitely happy that I came over here. Now, best to show. Gotta have to be that 3883 Cuda. I mean, beautiful color. Same color as the Lambo that was behind it, which I now did shoot. Also a very nice car, but the Cuda took the cake. Honorable mention, 1969 Galaxy 500. I love those cars. They have a great body line to them. And I can tell you that I was this close getting a Ford XL in 1970, so a year later. They had different taillights, but overall shape still the same. Beautiful car. I loved seeing it out there. So that, definitely honorable mention. Would have been number one if I didn't see that Cuda. So, yeah. Exit shots. Well, shots, I think, is a 100% the word to use because there was some people out there with not just crackle tunes, but freaking shot tunes. Um, I must say I'm not that big of a fan of those because it made my ears ring. And I wonder what it did to the audio because I felt those shots, like air displacement. It was that loud. So... Yeah, not that big of a fan. Old men ruin everything. I think there was one guy that kind of went over to the opposite lane. Now we can see clearly over there, so I guess it's all right. But still, you know, cops see that footage and then, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to have someone over there. Now I'm not here every month anyway, so uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. But I would hate for it, like, a few months down the line to come here again and police rolls by and says, you can't stand here, leave. Because the shots that I get, I love them. I mean, you see the cars come in and then they come under the underpass and even if they don't give it some go-go, it still sounds good because the underpass amplifies everything. So it's really, really good. So with that, got some outtakes, I think. I don't think I have to deal with wind and watch. Now I said that there's a ton of wind noise. Oh man. I shouldn't have said anything, I just jinxed myself. But anyway, outtakes are coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and of course, comment below what you thought of the show, because comments are the number one. And if you're watching this live during the premiere, you are awesome. Guys, take care, and uh, as always, we'll see you on the flip side.